Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenru, and today we are going into episode two of our campaign as the United Provinces, or Holland, or the Netherlands, whatever you want to call them, here in Empire Total War. We have President Willem of our Protestant Republic. And uh, yeah, people, people hate us because we are a Protestant Republic. There's not that many Protestants out there, and the ones that are out there are not republics. There is a monarchy, a monarchy, and a constitutional monarchy. No republics. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's not that many people out there. <laughs> uh, but I did notice that Württemberg, we can trade with them now because we border them now. Württemberg is uh, right here. So we border them, we can trade with them, and uh, I'm going to see if we can get... I think they'll accept an alliance even. Why not? Indifferent. That's probably the best we can hope for. Someone whose attitude towards us is... Eh. Yeah. There you go. Trade, military access, and an alliance. Sure. You got it. Uh, so that'll help. That'll give us some more, more income. Yeah, we're up to 1700 now instead of 1200 So we got some more money coming in. That's great. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to have to wait a couple turns before we go attack Hanover. And in the meantime, we'll have to see what France does. If we can get our navy home safely, we can actually defeat France's navy. And that will really limit his ability to fight us. Like, there's a little French navy that we can go attack. Before moving on. Why not? Alright, end the turn. Okay, France is trying to defend Strasbourg, it looks like. He's bringing a couple units that way. Why he? Why is he sending them one unit at a time? I don't know. And yeah, he's coming to attack in Guyana. I don't think there's any point to defend Guyana. Yes, Britain joined the war against France, that's true. Uh, yes, Guyana is worth money, I agree, but we're pulling our navies back. We're going to have to use our navy in Europe for a while. We can't really afford to have multiple navies, so we're going to have to consolidate what we do have, and that kind of means that we can't really do anything about Guyana. I mean, if it gets blockaded, there goes the money. You know what I mean? Okay, so the Rhineland has been pacified. Good. Uh, we can't move our troops out yet, and it looks like, yeah, France did pull his units Man, back to Paris. That's too bad. I think I'll put my spy between Paris and, uh, and Strasbourg, so we can keep an eye on... Look at the hell, all, all these little one stacks. I don't know why the AI does this, but they do. They always do this. They always have these little one stacks. There's his general, his super-duper 50 billion stars general. My goodness, crazy. Yeah, okay, okay. Gem mine. Uh, but we're not making any money on this trade anyway. Because it's getting pirated, so there's no point. Uh, as much as I would love to do a gem mine, there's just no point. It's getting pirated. And down here, well, same thing. There's a uh, gold mine, right? Yeah, gold, gems. But are we actually getting that money? I don't think so. Oh, no, we are. We are getting that money. Okay. Fair enough. But uh, we're going to lose this. He's got uh, some militia and three skirmishers. I don't think we can stand up against that. We're going to have, what, armed natives or something? And one militia. Now, there's just no point. We'll get that back the hard way. Three color printing. Unit recruited. Oh, yeah, sure. We got... Uh, some India men. Uh, let's go. More money, please. Uh, you know, I do need to cut out here for a sec. I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, let's continue on. Sending them off to Indonesia, that's fine. The Spice Islands. And we are going to fully replenish our dudes over here with the rest of our cash. Uh, can we afford it? Yes, we can. Okay, good. So how long will this take? Uh, it doesn't really say, does it? Hovering over the plus sign doesn't tell me jack. Well, it'll take a little bit. And um, then we can go fight France. France? Oh, man. Ah, we should go to Hanover first, though. But yeah, we've pacified Cologne. They're at 0-0, zero, zero, and that's nice. So they'll give us the full amount of cash, and they'll calm down, and we're making money, so we're okay. But um, we're not off the hook, not, not by far. Did we get another university here? We did. We have a second university now. Okay. Let's make them research. Why not? Hmm. Empiricism. Let's see. Plus one to town wealth in this region. Enhances prestige. And it gives you more research rate. I think that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. We also have uh, a coaching in here, which is nice because it improves happiness. So we'll be able to move our units out of here earlier. Uh, we have an iron mine and uh, a town with a workshop. Gives us some money. Okay, good. What else? Uh, another workshop. A weaver's. Nice. And a farm. Okay, good. So this this little area, the Rhineland, has a lot of stuff in it. Very cool. Uh, he has a fort here. And another mine. Okie dokie. And he's going to have maybe seven units once he all gets over there. So if we can fight that and kill that, and then we can go march on Paris, that'd be great. I would love it. Hmm. I wonder if we can make Hanover our vassal. Just get out of that war. Is that even possible? Quest peace. Um, can't do a vassal, can you? Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah, Austria don't like us anymore. Look at this. When you click on your nation, you can see other people's opinions of you. The only people who like us are Britain. And Westfit and Württemberg. That's it. No one else cares. Uh, Savoy is friendly, but um, we can't trade with them, so we're kind of limited in our friendship. That's unfortunate. But yeah, everyone else thinks we suck balls. Oh no, not Spain. There we go. <laughs> I had Spain selected. There we go. Um, Venice likes us because they're a rep they're a republic just like we are, but we can't trade. No. Can we get some trade with Saxony? Oh. Oh, he will do trade. Okay. Excellent. That means a little more income. Another $500 income every turn. Very nice. So we're going to be able to trade with some more people now that we um, now that we border them. Uh, same thing with Bavaria. We border Bavaria. You guys want to trade now? I don't think they do, but I'll ask anyway. Oh, sure. 140 bucks for some trade. Excellent. Oh, that is just awesome. We're up to 3000 bucks per turn now. As long as we can keep those trades going, I'll be nice and happy. Uh, I wish we could get Austria back, but they are just... Oh, they're going to hate us forever now. Because they, they didn't join our war. Yeah, he's just not even close to happy with us for that. That's, that's just sad. Oh well. Okay, let's end the turn. Yeah, bad AI in a Total War game. I know, I know, it's surprising. But, I mean, most games are like that, right? It's hard to rely on the AI being any good. And you guys are saying we can actually win this if we hide in the buildings? Okay, we will hide in the buildings then. Oh. Oh yeah, save it just in case it crashes. I've only had it crash... Now, let me tell you about Total War. Not, not Total War, but Empire. When I got this game... When it, I, guess, I think I bought it when it first came out. It crashed all the time. I mean, all the time. But that was on my old PC. And on this PC, which is from... This PC is only about 10 months old. Um, it has only crashed once on this PC. So I think the, the difference is they've patched it up a lot since it came out. And my old hardware was just not very good. I think that was the problem. But... Now on this one, it barely ever crashes, but I still have the habit of just saving before every battle because it only ever crashes when it's transferring to the battle 
or during the battle. It never crashes on the campaign map, and it never crashes as it's leaving the battle. It can crash while it's loading the battle and when you're in the battle, but never crashes any other time. Anyway, uh, yeah. So let's give it a shot. Uh, you are defending. Well, if it says you are defending, then why does it have a button to attack? It says you are defending. Then why does the button say attack? I don't know. But we'll fight it. Load! Damn you! <laughs> it's not the same without music. I really like the music too. Hmm. Okay. So. What buildings can we hop in? We can hop into the church. Why don't we do that? No, we can't. Uh, oh, here we go. We can get into a house. Is that the only building we can get into? Why don't we can get into this house, too? Oh, we... What? Oh, it's outside of our deployment range. Okay. Uh, we can get into this building. And actually, why don't you go, you can both defend that building. So we're going to be in the house over here and in whatever this is, a ruins. I don't know what that does. I've never been in a ruins before. Ruins! Uh, we can't get in the churches for some reason. And we can't get in the little, little street buildings. We can only get in this house, that house, and the ruins. And that's it. Deploy them all in the fort? What fort? What fort? I don't see a fort. There's a square building. Oh, the ruins. Okay. Okay. Will they all fit there? Oh, yeah. They all fit. No, they don't. They're outside. Now we're standing outside. Okay, whatever. We'll just try it. <laughs> I didn't ex I didn't expect to win this anyway. But uh let's put the speed up. And where is the enemy? There they are. I see them. They be coming. Those Frenchies. So we're going to be shooting at them from behind walls. That's good. They don't have any cannons or anything. They're old Roman ruins. They shouldn't be Roman ruins. This is Guyana. This is a new world settlement. So there shouldn't be any Roman ruins. Oh yeah, here they go. Little natives with their bow and arrows. And they kind of waddle. Very weird way to walk. They look like penguins. So I can only see two of them. I know they have four units total. I just don't know where the other two units are. I don't see their flags any. They might be hiding in the trees or something. I don't know. Okay, let's put it back down to regular speed. Let's see what they do. This is their militia unit. We have one of these. Colonial Militia. They have one of those. But, um... They have... Th oh, there's another one. They have three of these little archer dudes. What are they called? Bowman Auxiliary. Yeah. And those guys can be dangerous. Because there's a lot of them, right? Yeah, there's 80 of them in each unit. Yeah. Where's 
What's up, militia dude? Do your worst, broskies. So when can we start shooting him? Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. If we can defend this, I'll build a couple more units to help defend. Because I don't think we'll need... I don't think we'll need a second army in Europe, at least not for a while. And I hope these guys that are standing outside... I hope they don't get shot at out here, because they're kind of just sitting there. <laughs> they're very weirdly just standing there. You know you guys are facing the wrong way, right? The enemy's over there. Guys? Oh, goodness. Okay. We're shooting them. We're shooting them. We haven't killed anyone yet, but we're shooting at them. Keep shooting, guys. Oh, they're shooting us as well. No one's died yet. Okay, one of them has died. They took the first casualty. Fantastic. They're hopping the wall. We took a casualty. Damn. Yeah, see, they're lined up in a nice professional-looking uh, professional line over here. They're not really facing the fort properly, but whatever. And these guys are just chilling. They're not doing a damn thing. Hello? Hello? He's like, duh, I'm a colonial militia. Yeah, you are. Well, let's put the speed up and let's see if we actually win this. I don't think we have much of a chance here. But, I don't know. The fort provides some defense, but we've already lost 12 guys. We've only killed 6. We've only killed 7 dudes. We've lost 18. Yeah. Not looking good. Not looking good. And this guy's almost out of ammo. I wonder what he's going to do once he's out of ammo. Probably nothing. I'm going to stand there and just die, probably. Here. Go kill him. Enjoy. And you're dead. But you had no ammo, so what good are you? Let's see, they've lost two, they've lost they've only lost six, God. They are really, really good. You think the AI is going to run out of ammo? I don't know, maybe. A lot of their shots are going to hit the walls, right? But we're not killing any of them. We've barely killed any of them. Our dudes are actually standing outside the fort. Because, you know, there's good protection out here. That's why there's a lot of dead bodies. These guys are very well protected right here. Oh, yeah. only killed seven of their militia. Oh, no bueno. And these other guys aren't even shooting. They're just bored. They're chilling. They look like pirates. They're all grouchy. Grouchy, grouchy.
All right, I'll just put the speed up again, see what happens. I don't have a whole lot of confidence in this. <laughs> Look at them just raining arrows. Make it rain. What's up? What's up, bros? Homies? Y'all having fun over here? Oh yeah, he's having a blast. Encouraged flanks secure. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, I guess. Winning slightly. Yeah, I guess. We've lost about 50 of our militia and 6 of our... Whatever they're called. Armed citizens. So what happens when they run out of ammo? I mean, I'm I'm assuming they will eventually. Do they just stand there? They charge? Okay, well that's... Uh, they'd probably win a charge, actually. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, stroke it. Oh, oh yeah, you guys are really good at stroking it. Look at that, synchronized stroking, that's amazing. These guys, they went to military school, you can tell. So they've lost 10, we've lost... 40, I mean, 58. It's not really a good number for us to lose. There must be a slight breeze or something. They're all kind of leaning back and forth with the, with the wind. I wonder if they ever switch ranks. Because I imagine these guys in the front, they're going to run out of ammo first, right? Because they're the only ones shooting. They don't have, they don't have the fire by rank technology yet, and without it, you the 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 rear lines never shoot. So, these guys should be out of ammo by now, the front line, but the other lines never shoot. I don't know. I guess they all share ammo. What are they doing? They're wiggling. They are professional wigglers. See? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Well, we haven't lost many people out of these two stacks. Hmm. Uh-oh. These guys ran out of ammo, didn't they? Yep. The natives all just ran out of ammo. Here they come. They're charging. They're all out of ammo. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, this is in Colonial Guyana, South America. That is a lot of natives coming in, my goodness. Still says they're losing, though. We just don't have a whole lot of people left. Yeah, we don't have grenades, unfortunately. Could throw some hot soup or something. Wow, look at all them. 
Whoa. That is one massive pile of humans. It says we're winning. It's good. Uh, he hasn't run out of ammo yet out here, so he's just shooting. He's happy. He's shooting his own guys, though. And there's the action. This guy's got a little sleepy hat on. The trumpeter? It's like he just got out of bed. Got a little pom-pom on it, too. Well, we've lost a lot of guys, but um, it looks like we are going to be able to fend off these natives. Uh, he still has more outside. <laughs> They're just waiting to come in. So I don't know if we're going to be able to hold this, but who knows? Let's put the speed back up. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. They all just want a chance to throw their tomahawk. It's so weird. We won. Oh, because time ran out. Um, you can either choose to end the battle now or continue playing to run down the routed enemy. I guess we'll continue playing. Might as well kill as many of them as we can if we're winning. Although it doesn't look like the enemy has routed. Yeah, they don't look like they're routing at all. Hmm. Should have ended it. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I would have given up on this long ago. Uh, we can, you're saying we can just end it now? But can't we kill these units here? Yeah. All right. Okie dokie. I'll take a victory. We should get another unit for that fort. Okay, so we only have 150 guys left. But it, we did make him run away. Yeah, I still have AI moves turned on. I like to watch AI moves. I like to know what's going on in the world.
Okay, so France has grouped up a pretty sizable force there over there in Strasbourg. For farming in this region. Shut up, woman. Build Saxony was destroyed by Prussia. So we lost some trade over there. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we might be able to get some trade with Prussia. Uh, they don't like us, though. Uh, but we do border them. Want some trade? There you go. Yeah. All right, let's trade with Prussia. Now, the first time when I played for 14 hours and then I uploaded all of it and it was all flagged, so I had to just delete all that content. The first time, we actually conquered Prussia. We conquered all of Prussia. We conquered Sweden and Denmark. We were just badass. That's why I'm so disappointed with the with having to delete all that content. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's okay. So we're still healing up. Probably one more turn until everyone's healed. Yeah, the numbers are pretty good. The full unit is 160, and we have some guys as low as 128, 124. So yeah, they'll heal up soon enough. We shall wait for them. In the meantime, let me go check on Paris again. Gay Paris. Yeah, he's got half stack in Paris and half stack in Strasbourg. Okay. And we could also go get Han Hanover first. We, I don't know what we should do first. But we can afford a little bit of a new army. So let's get a new army going. You know what? Let's do the new world first. What can we get here? Uh, militia. Yeah. Let's see. Tomahawk dudes. Archer dudes. Oh, yeah. These guys are better at fighting. We'll get a couple of them. And that can be my New World army. I'm sure he'll recruit more dudes, but that's okay. Uh, we should get some dudes going here. And we can get two more guys in the army. I would prefer to have four cannons and two cav, or three cannons and three cav. But uh, we'll take some regular dudes, and we can cycle the, po the pikemen and the militia back into the capital, or we'll just delete them. Uh, they do cost some upkeep, and I really don't like these units at all. Uh, the pikemen are really only useful on a defensive against some horses, but most likely the horses are good enough to avoid them, smart enough to avoid them. Anyway, why don't we uh, end the episode here, and I will see you guys next time, where we'll either go south to Strasbourg or north to Hanover. Or both. Who knows? Anyway, I will see you then. Have a good day.